Alright, welcome back guys. In this video we're going to start modelling out this terrain. We'll probably get it done in this video. Um, I'm going to leave out the lake. It's going to be done at a, uh, a later stage, but let me just turn on my stuff. So this is the final product guys, well the final product in this section before we start adding detail. All right. So a few videos ago I explained that you do your building blocks of your game first and then you add detail later. All right. So I'm just going to play the game and show you what I've done so far. We've got the terrain, uh, it's a really nice terrain, I'll show you a few tricks on how to do this in this video. Um, the lake water, this is Unity Pro water, it's really nice. Feel free to use the Unity Free water if you like guys, if you ain't got the Pro version. Uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly model out a wind turbine and rotate to the turbine. Um, and also uh, particle effects, I've got a uh, two effects here, one of them is just a normal effect. The other one uses a texture I made in Photoshop, a nice cloud, you can see one there actually, the grey cloud. Uh, the other one's just a white glare kind of thing. So I'll show you this as well guys. The other thing, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll show you how to make barriers, like really effective barriers to stop you falling in the lake. It's a really random uh, shape, but there's an easy way to do it. I'm going to show you that as well. So a really worthwhile pro project if you want to follow along guys. So uh, let's quit this now. I made a scene earlier. Uh, let's open the project and let's start from scratch. So let's load up the project. Mountain side. So this is it, guys. This is what we're starting off with. <laughs> All right. So here we are in Unity, guys. I've just got a bunch of standard assets here. I've got the character controllers because we need the first person controller to begin with. We might use a third person later on. Uh, we've got the light cookies, the light flares, we need a skybox and some terrain stuff and water stuff. So that's what we need guys. I've also downloaded the terrain toolkit from the Unity website we're going to use. So um, let's create the terrain and straight away it's way too big. So I'm just going to set the resolution right down. doesn't need to be that big at all. Um, let's just put these down a bit. Uh, 512, 512. Alright guys, so set the resolution. Um, and as you can see it's a little more manageable so straight away I'm just going to put the terrain toolkit script on here and we're going to use the purlin so these just generate different effects on your terrain guys mountainous stuff and um, experiment with it, it's really good uh, really powerful stuff, it's got erosion you can change the, t the, um, the texture depending on the height of the terrain we're going to do it later on So, but for now I'm just going to stick with the purlin um, and dim these down a bit, we don't want anything too extreme so maybe even three let's just put this in a bit uh, let's create, generate it um, yeah a bit too uh, plain so I'm just going to change this to four or five let's try again that's more like it so um, in our case guys I'm going to put this to four so a bit more manageable um, do this until you get something you like. Uh, I think that will work out really well actually. And then I'm just going to go into my normal tools, your tools you start off with, and kind of just just fix things up a bit if you like. Uh, we, we want a path in the middle so I'm just going to get rid of some height here. Uh, so this does save a lot of time guys. Uh, so that's that. So this is going to be the path in the middle. We can walk through and straight away I can tell it's going to look completely different from the original project I did. That's the beauty of the train tool guys. So um, let's put these up a bit. Let's put the other side up a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so let's just do this you have a lot more time guys so you can perfect it if you like so yeah I think that would be alright actually next thing to do is um, I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit iterations um, let's go for five. Oh, we can't do that, let's actually change it and as you can see it's getting a lot smoother so it'll be easier for our character to walk along the terrain Okay, so the next thing I want to do is um, go back into the terrain and um, go to the texture tab we got here, guys. And I'm just going to add a couple of textures. So, as you can see, it automatically updates. Uh, the first one I want to add is a grass texture. 
so let's just do the grass hill and let's add another one so um, let's try the cliff one um, so this thing generates textures depending on the terrain height okay so in a normal situation we'd have the grass here and as we go up the uh, the mountain it will be a bit rocky and then become totally like sand but I want to do the opposite in here guys I want to have the rocky thing at the bottom to show that we can walk across it it's been weared off and at the top it's grass um, grassy mountains so that's what I'm going to do here so um, I think this is about the right kind of place maybe bring it down even more so we can apply the procedural texture and boom there we go guys it looks really nice uh, the grass has been worn off here where people have been walking through so we can maybe uh, make a little bit more maybe so yeah that's actually that looks like a bit too worn out I thought it'd be too worn out so let's change it and it's as simple as that guys the terrain toolkit merges the, the textures together um, saves a lot of time so again I'm just going to tidy tidy this up a little bit uh, yeah just do that take your time guys on this I want to put this in a 10 minute video so alright so very simple to do that bit's bugging me actually uh, that's good it's like that okay okay so I can continue playing with this for a while but I'm not going to what we could do is we could smooth it out uh, which is this one here guys so just smooths it out a little bit okay alright so that'll do um, right let's save the scene <laughs> before I mess it up and uh, I want to do a couple more things in this video to set up the scene um, the first thing guys is a directional light so uh, game object the directional light I want to put it right in the middle so the sun's shining right down on the scene so the intensity I want to bring it up to 1.2 so it's very bright as you can see um, let's move it into the middle a bit more uh, we can actually go into an X maybe rotate it so it's pointing forwards and then kind of going up a little bit right so uh, that's the directional light uh, that's better so right let me just show you guys something if I rotate it to the left there's a shadow here if I rotate or the right even if I rotate it to the left there's a shadow on the right so I just want to put it right in the middle so there's um, the whole area is kind of bright so apart from this area but we can change it later on so um, we want to have soft shadows that will do um, and we want a flare as well guys the flare we want a sun flare alright so I think that's that do for the directional light so that's it out of the way let's go into the project settings the player let's change this to um, deferred lighting so we've got all our shadows sorted and the other thing render settings I want some fog I want to make it like light, light grey and I fiddled about the values but I think the best one is um, <clears throat> 0 0.011 so it's got a nice bit of fog and if I turn it on I can see the fog so I'm going to turn that off now um, alright guys so uh, the last thing I want to do is put a skybox on there so sunny I chose sunny 2 for the last video so as you can see it's very very sunny alright guys so I think that'll do for our terrain um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to actually um, make it a bit nicer so I'm just going to raise this bit feel free to skip this bit if you want guys I'm just gonna make the terrain a bit nicer so um, bring this bit down so um, it's not much shadow that do let's bring it down a bit here So pretty simple stuff to do this. Um, yeah, let's move this up a bit so we can put our turbines on. Okay. 
little walkway here for example okay I think that'll do for this video alright guys so I'm um, just setting up the scene basically in this video we've done the terrain we've done the lights and stuff if I turn it on we've done the fog and um, the, the directional lights so uh, in the next video we'll put in the first person controller um, and do the lake I think I think we'll do the lake and then we'll move on to creating the turbine and uh, the particle effects so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully I'll see you in the next video thanks a lot